Well, that's the scoreline aside, that was a very positive way to end the season, was it? Yeah, really good. Um, loads of really good stuff. Loads of stuff to work on. Uh, playing against a really top opposition. You know, if you look at what they had all over the pitch, but especially the top end of the pitch. Fortunately for us, we're not going to face that quality every week or that athleticism. But um, yeah, I really liked it. Really liked loads of stuff. Lots of stuff, as I said, we need to um, have a look at and improve. But the most important thing is the guys' mentality to try and play the way we want to, the way we stuck to it. And great feedback for them, you know, is, is their manager coming up and, and saying, oh, you know, he really enjoyed the way we're trying to play and the, and the way we're doing things. And so it's great for them. It's really good for them. And um, yeah, we've just got to keep going now. And keep, they're in a really good place. It's been a really tough pre-season. A really, um, so much work physically, tactically, mentally, socially together in a group, working on different things. So um, yeah, really pleased with where they're at. And um, as I said, still lots to work on before we, we get going properly. But um, yeah, I really like the group tonight. Um, you look around to other teams in the league, and I've seen it before, where you sometimes ease off on the players before the start of the season and give them potentially an easier run out. I mean, did you get what you want from facing a, a Premier League yeah. side three days before you start? Yeah, the physically, definitely. Tactically, posed there's so many different problems, and, and problems we might not face, but problems we still have to be prepared for. Um, so yeah, got so much out of it. Really good stuff. And regardless of what they're playing against, they try and be who we want them to be, what we, the vision for the team, which is, is incredible. So yeah, I'm really pleased with that. Plenty of fantastic individual performances. We won't go through every single one of them. But I mean, it must have been so proud for you to see you know, so many young players on there, so many players that you've seen the development of, um, you know, how much they've grown over the last 18 months, to see them compete against side guys that are going to be playing in the Premier League in, the Premier League in three weeks' time. Yeah, I'm, I'm just really proud of what we've um, what we've got here, what we built here. If you look at it from when we first took over, the difference, the, the difference in the group, the age of the group, the mentality of them, really young squad, um, that we're not scared of playing because we trust them because they listen, they grow, they work, they, they're so connected together with what they're trying to do. Well done, big stuff. Um, and yeah, yeah, I think they're just growing all the time, and, and they need to. There's no doubt about it. They need to continue to strive to get to where Delhi has from, from, from this academy. We have a lot of academy players in the squad. They need to strive to be as competing against these sort of guys that week in, week out. That's where they, If you don't want to dream big like that or want to try and hit the top, then what, what is the point? You know, you, you should never accept being where you are and um, or being comfortable. And it's not comfortable for them. I'm, I'm really conscious of that. The environment is comfortable because they get treated properly, hopefully, and they feel, they feel comfortable. But it's not comfortable in terms of we have a lot of pain on the training pitch in the video room trying to improve. Um, they have to show a lot of vulnerability because of what we're asking them to do. Um, and they, they've stripped so much fear in the last year, which is, which is incredible. And that's up to them to just, they've, they've been all in on it. And that's all we can ask for, really. Every training session, they're present, they're focused. Tonight, they're present, they're focused. They, they, they have clarity in what they're doing. And um, yeah, we just need to keep trying to improve their, everything. But yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, you, you can hear I'm proud of this team. I'm proud of what we're trying to build, what we're trying to create. And um, we just need to make sure it's successful at, at some point. You can't go back to the fans. We're, we're doing this yeah. right in front of the couch. See you Friday. You came out just for kickoff and, and went and applauded them. I think it just looked like a, a massive show of appreciation for the fact that they've stuck with this football club for all of this and, and you can see it in your face you were just so proud to see them back here uh, it's exactly what it was it's just gratitude really just deep deep gratitude from all of us that um, how they've been with us since we've taken over really uh, tough position to take over from um, and even if I'm sure there was plenty of doubts at that point they never showed it the way they were we lost the first four games they were great in the stadium i think they saw slowly but surely signs of what we were trying to build and grow and then they were so important in in you know the season got cut short and if we didn't do what we needed to do we would have been in, in league two again but they played such a big part the, the the players feel it as well the players love the connection they have with the group and we really missed them last year it hurt us isn't it we'd have we'd have gained more points if they were in this stadium i'm convinced yeah you know i'm convinced i'm sure a lot of teams say that but it does feel different the relationship they have with the team and I think they're proud of the identity we're trying to build um, yeah so just to just to feel it again and experience it again and see them here was, was, was really nice great to see a goal go in as well it was a fantastic goal from Tottenham. yeah it was yeah, from we, got, yeah was we, we got in great situations obviously the penalty as well um, so yeah I was really pleased we scored I felt we deserved to score over, over, deserved to score over the whole game so um, really pleased with Johnny he, he's, uh, we love John what a character he's getting better all the time um, He's one we have to be a bit more patient with. He's, he's not 
he's very different to David Kasumu and people like that but um, he's here because we believe in him and however long it takes we'll get him to where he needs to get to because he's such a clever footballer and what a finish he does possess that quality so um, yeah he's, he's got a smile you know he's smiling from ear to ear and uh, yeah it couldn't happen to, to a nicer kid and you could see the teammates on the his teammates on this pitch on in the in the on the bench how pleased they are for him because he's just such a likable um, likable character as he's shown in many of your interviews over the last year or so. Well, it's been a long six weeks, yeah. um, but tonight ends pre-season. Full focus now on on the real stuff. Bournemouth on Saturday, another fantastic occasion for the players to go and test themselves against higher ranked opposition and, and do it for real. Yeah, tonight's tonight's done. It's gone. Pre-season's done. Um, We'll analyse tonight to make sure we try and improve on certain things before Saturday. It's going to be a really tough game, a really tough start. I think everyone spoke about how tough the start to the season is, but it's one we're looking forward to. We're going to attack. We're, the players are really embracing. They're excited for. And um, it's the whole point of pre-season, right? It's that all the hard work has, and the pain you, you feel um, has to pay off. And uh, the, the guys are ready. I think, you know, I think they're as ready as we could, we could ever be physically and, and, and where they're at mentally. They're hungry. Uh, and they're motivated and now it's up to me to try and pick the best team for us as a group of staff to pick the best team to try and go and win the game so that's what we're going to go and try and do.